How Ukraine can defeat Russia. Foreign affairs gave a recipe. The full-scale war in Ukraine against the Russian occupiers continues and with the right support from its partners, the Ukrainian state can still win. This is stated in an article in the American magazine Foreign Affairs. The journalists also shared a recipe with which, in their opinion, Kyiv can win the confrontation. The West must clearly state that its goals is a decisive victory for Ukraine and the defeat of Russia, and it must commit itself to providing direct military assistance to Kyiv and supporting the country's developing defense industry, the material notes. The journalists added that Ukrainian forces in the meantime must work to advance until they can oust the occupiers from all occupied territory, including Crimea. As Ukraine moves towards this goal, it will become clear to Russian citizens over time that they will continue to lose not only positions in Ukraine, but also enormous human and economic resources, as well as their future prospects for prosperity and stability. The article emphasizes, journalists believe that at that time, the regime of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin may experience significant pressure, both from within and from without, to end the war on terms favorable to Ukraine. Any negotiations under current circumstances would, at best, leave Ukraine crippled, divided and dependent on a second Russian invasion. At worst, it would destroy the country altogether. No sustainable long-term peace can be achieved through negotiations with an aggressor who has intentions to commit genocide. Ukraine and the West must either win or face devastating consequences, the material notes. On the initiative of Ukraine, a global peace summit is scheduled to take place on Swiss territory on June the 15th to the 16th, to which it was planned to invite representatives of more than 100 states. There should not be a representative of the Russian Federation among the guests. The Su-27 supersonic fighter was damaged as a result of the attack of the armed forces of Ukraine on the military airfield Kashovska. This is reported by the Russian media ASTRA. Recall, on the night of May 19, the Crimean Peninsula was hit by rocket attacks of the Ukrainian army. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that the Atoms missiles were repelled by the air defense system. But Ukraine states that at least three missiles were not shot down and hit the territory of the military airfield in the town of Kushchevsk, Krasnodar territory, on the night of May 19. As a result of the attack, a fire broke out, the Russian Su-27 supersonic fighter and the infrastructure of the airfield were damaged. According to other information, at the airfield, intelligence of Ukraine worked together with the forces of unmanned systems of the armed forces of Ukraine. Russians on social networks complained about a series of explosions and fires at night, and one even cried, they blew up our bush. At this airfield there were dozens of different planes that attack Ukrainian positions at the front, Su-34, Su-25, Su-27, MiG-29. This is the second drone attack on the Kushchevska military airfield and the Sloviansk refinery in the last three weeks. At that time, several planes were hit at the airfield, and the refining and atmospheric columns were hit at the refinery. Furthermore, on the night of May 19, there was a drone attack on the Slavyank oil refinery in the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is said that the drone belonging to Ukraine fell on the territory of the factory and exploded. As a result, a fire broke out in the plant and its activity was suspended for a while. No casualties are reported. In addition, it is said that during the night there was a strong explosion and fire at an oil base in Vyborg, Leningrad region, Russia. It is not known what caused the explosion. Thank you.